Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great. As always, please check out the description box for all the nice links and all that stuff. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, so here we are. All right. Uh, we had our setting state. Uh, if this doesn't bug out. And we had our GUI elements, right? Now, we're going to have to make a few more GUI elements soon enough. But we're going to work a little bit on the editor as well so that you don't get bored. So this is going to be uh, a little part of the setting state. Uh, that I want to fix and that's going to be the options I want to change so if we go into game yeah that's right our game.h we're going to see uh, what's going on so we have the context settings we have a boolean full screen we have video modes the resolution basically um, and then we have anti-aliasing modes right so it's basically those things that we can set up and I think in game.cpp we see that when we initialize the window uh vertical sync as well anti-aliasing level so we got a few things that we can we can uh, switch up here and we get everything of that from a file but in the settings um we can basically get from the window what level we have and everything so so it saves that for us and if it's full screen and if it's it has vertical sync enabled and everything uh, and we're going to check that in these settings. So basically, that's what I want to do today. I want to go in here and I'm going to create a little uh, text element, SF text um, options text, options text. OK, basically, it's, it's, it's just going to be that. Um, and then I'm going to create a, a void in it text thing here because we might have a lot of text and I want to make sure it doesn't really mess up any any other type of function that I have and not fill it with a bunch of crap so I'm just gonna make my own little variable here in it text and here's where I'm gonna use this so this options text dot set font font uh, font okay the font we loaded in because we have to assume that it's already loaded in as we call this function. I'm just going to make sure I call it so I don't forget this init text. Uh, there we go. And then we're going to actually we could do this in in a GUI, but I want to keep it separate. You know what? Let's just keep it separate. It doesn't really matter. Uh, then this options text dot set position of course and we're just going to find a little position there that's a vector 2f but i'm just going to keep it at 100 100 right now uh, then i'm going to say this options text dot set um set character size i'm pro pretty much have a pretty big one here 30 i think is going to be fine this options text dot set fill color SF color, uh, a little darker white, right? A little less opaque white. So a little bit like 200 for the alpha channel is fine. I'd say you can do whatever you want here. You can have green, pink text, whatever the hell you want to do. It's your game just as much as it, it is mine. Okay, so just go ahead and do that. Um, and then, then this options text dot... Uh, style blah 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 outline doesn't need set string so this is where we're gonna start to set the string for this beautiful text object and basically the string is just gonna be a bunch of window options that we get um, and to string that so we might do this std2 string this window dot get and then you get all these things that you can get uh, get size get settings you can do get settings dot and the aliasing level um yeah i guess it's and the aliasing level uh, default whatever major well basically it's just that where is the get get um uh, 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 view dot 
get well we'll solve that we'll see if we sync is enabled or not we'll solve that it doesn't really matter uh, we'll get that from the file as well but just to give you an example we're going to say get size uh, right here get size uh, get size dot x like that and then we're going to do uh, like this actually we're just going to separate all of this plus x plus and just copy this and we'll do get size y so this is gonna oh wait uh wait options text hmm no that's gonna be in the button wait excuse me i'm sorry excuse me no excuse me uh that's not what we're supposed to do um resolution resolution is what it's gonna say plus a new line character um, plus uh, v sync plus and then a new line you just copy this uh, actually it's just a character I'm pretty sure you can copy this. Uh, let's see. Vsync uh, on sculpt enum type. You know what? Can we do it like this? Resolution, new line. Um, Vsync, uh, and then a new line. And then and the L and the aliasing something like that new line. Uh, so we got the resolution V sync and the aliasing. Uh, what else is there? Pretty much we can just start off with that. I think full screen as well. Resolution. Full screen. And then new line right there. Anti-aliasing, new line, and then we'll see how that goes. So that's pretty much going to be our uh, our text. All right, so we're going to have to play around with that. Let's see. So in it, text is right there. we got to render out this text. And this is going to be next to our button. So we'll see basically what the hell's going on. Uh, render GY this no target draw this options text pretty much pretty much and then we'll just run this just to see if it's it's possible and we'll position it and then we'll get some um, video modes and we'll put them in into that little list Okay, so here we go, settings. All right, so we got that. We got that. We might need double or triple. Uh, so I'm pretty much going to put it at, where is that? 800, 4, 4, 450, right? So I'm just going to put it at about, you know what? I'm going to put it at 100 and 450. 100 and 450. Let's just do that quickly. Um where do I initialize it? 100 and 450. 100, 450. Okay, that's cool. All right, so there we go. At least we have that. And then we might need a few more new line characters. So maybe two new lines each, depending on the button size. That should be good. And uh, there you go. So now we have that. Now we're going to have to create some stuff here uh, in variables. So we're going to go ahead and do a std vector sf video mode modes okay we're just gonna do that um and in this modes we're actually gonna load all the video modes basically and i'm just gonna put that in the gui so this modes um let's see or i'll put it in i'll put it in in it variables so this modes 
equals sf video mode get full screen mode. So this will put a all the data into this little vector we created. Okay, so now we can use this variable to get all the modes. And when I create this little list, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a std uh, vector std string uh, modes str. Okay, so I'm going to do like that. And when I create this list, instead of that, I'm just going to go ahead and do modes str here and then modes str dot size. Okay, now we're going to go through the whole for in a for loop, we're going to go through the whole uh, modes list, the actual video modes, and we're going to say modes str dot pushback equals. So we're going to push back all the video modes as strings in here. And to do that, we're going to have to do modes dot or I actually I dot um, let's see width. Okay, and we're going to make this to a string. So std to string the width. All right, very simple. And then we're going to plus a character here, which is going to be the x and then we're going to plus the height. So that's going to give me a video mode in a format I want height. Okay, so now we'll push back all the all the strings that we we can use right in here. Uh, and there we go, pretty much. Um, and instead of modes.string, you got to do modes.string.data because that gives us the raw string array from this vector back. Since this function takes a raw string array, we're going to have to do the dot data. Otherwise, if you put a vector into drop down list, uh, you put that as the parameter type, then you can send that vector in and then you don't need to send in size. But I did it this way since you can send in a raw uh, string like we did before uh, as well. So it's a good way to do it. Uh, anyway, so now we got a bunch of strings in here and this list will be populated with all the video modes available. Okay. And we did create the apply button. That's the resolution right there. Um, so if we go in here and we click apply. This is just a test, okay? This isn't something we're going to use for now. It's not perfectly implemented. Uh, but what we're going to do is to show you, we're going to say this window dot create, create, and then we're going to do this video mode. Now, depending on the video mode button selected from this drop down list, the, the ID of that button, we're going to get that from the modes list. So create. Uh, this modes at position, okay, at position, this um, drop down lists resolution, I think it's resolutions or resolution, resolution, I think it is only, right, resolution, yeah, okay, so from that drop down list, dot, um, Let's see. Uh, blah blah blah. Create this modes drop down list resolution. Then we need to get the active elements ID. So let's go into GUI. We're gonna have to add that function really quickly. It's nothing. It's nothing complicated. Just go down here, and we're gonna do this um, functions accessors const unsigned short get active element id const okay so it's going to be uh, because the active element the button itself if we go look at button it has a short unsigned id and we want to get that id back and we do have a get id function for the button but we need one for this so i'm just going to define that in the drop down list right here and uh, we're going to put that under accessors right there. And all this is going to do is return this 
active element get ID. Okay, so all it's going to do. So just make sure you have that because we, we need to use that. Now we can go back here and say get active element ID. All right. So that will be the video mode that we're getting. And then we're going to do title. Uh, doesn't matter. Everything else is probably title. Uh, test. Um, this window get. I don't think you can get the title. No. Okay. You know what? Just say test. Doesn't matter. SF style default. And then the context settings don't really matter right now. This is just a test thing. Okay. Let's say test remove later. Um, so this will just show us that actually that ID we're getting is working. So let's just run this. Hopefully it will work. And then we got to move on to the next video. So let's just see. Please, 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 please work. Please work. Please work. So there's a lot of steps here. I really need you guys to pay attention. Watch the watch the uh, video. So here we got all the modes. Okay. Now it's a too long of a list here. So we got to make a GUI element that we can uh, kind of press two buttons and we'll switch through all, cycle through all of these. Uh, but let's just switch to, let's press apply. So it created a window that is this size that it was. We create that, creates a smaller window, create an even smaller window, and an even smaller window. Okay, and it starts to kind of, kind of bug out, and we can't press the buttons anymore because yeah but you can switch it just switch it back i guess can i press apply no i'm not even there anymore um uh apply isn't even there anymore okay you know what <laughs> that is that is cool but at least this works so you can just reset that if you want so that is kind of working this is just a little test so there you see how we can um use all these things together in order to change the settings that we want to change Okay, now I promise in the next video, we're going to switch it up a little bit, work a little bit on editor state. Then we'll keep working on this a little later as we make more GUI elements. We'll get back to this soon, but at least we got the, the, um, the basics correct here. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for all the support. Just take care and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye bye.